The Mk-4 Folding Fin Aerial Rocket FFAR, also known as Mighty Mouse, was an unguided rocket used by United States military aircraft. 2.75 inches 70 mm in diameter, it was designed as an air-to-air -air weapon for interceptor aircraft to shoot down enemy bombers, but primarily saw service as an air-to-surface weapon. Topic. History The advent of jet engines for fighters and bombers posed new problems for interceptors. With closing speeds of 1,500 feet per second, 457 meters per second or more for a head-on interception, the time available for a fighter pilot to successfully target an enemy aircraft and inflict sufficient damage to bring it down was vanishingly small. Wartime experience had shown that .50 caliber .7 mm machine guns were not powerful enough to reliably down a bomber, certainly not in a single volley, and heavy autocannon did not have the range or rate of fire to ensure a hit. Unguided rockets had been proven effective in ground attack work during the war, and the Luftwaffe had shown that volleys of their Werfer Granate 21 rockets, first used by elements of the Luftwaffe's JG-1 and JG-11 fighter wings on July 29, 1943 against USAAF bombers attacking Kiel and Warnemundi, could be a potent air-to-air -air weapon. The summer and autumn of 1944 saw the adoption of the folding fin R-4M unguided rocket for use underneath the wings of the Messerschmitt Mi-262 jet fighter for bomber-destroyer duties against the USAAF's 8th Air Force heavy bombers. The FFAR was developed in the late 1940s by the U.S. Navy Naval Ordnance Test Center and North American Aviation. Mass production was established at the facilities of the Norris Thermidor Corp., Los Angeles, and the Hunter Douglas Division of the Bridgeport Brass Co., Riverside, California fuses were manufactured by the Bulova Watch Co., Jackson Heights, Queens, NY, with rocket propellant supplied by Hercules Inc., Wilmington, Delaware, metal parts supplied by Aerojet General, Downey, California, and miscellaneous spare parts were made by North American Aviation. The original MK-4 FF FAR was about 4 feet 1.2 meters long and weighed 18.5 pounds 8.4 kilograms with a high explosive warhead of about 6 pounds 2.7 kilograms like the Third Reich Luftwaffe's R-4M projectile of World War II, it had folding fins that flipped out on launch to spin-stabilize the rocket, with the FFAR using half the number four of fins in comparison to the R-4M set of eight folding fins. Its maximum effective range was about 3,700 yards 3, meters. Because of its low intrinsic accuracy, it was generally fired in large volleys, some aircraft carrying as many as 104 rockets. FFARs were the primary armament of many NATO interceptor aircraft in the early 1950s, including the F-86D, F-89, F-94C, and the CF-100. They were also carried by the F-102 Delta Dagger to supplement its guided missile armament. The Mk-4 was dubbed, Mighty Mouse, in service, after the popular Mighty Mouse cartoon character. The Mighty Mouse was to prove a poor aerial weapon. Although it was powerful enough to destroy a bomber with a single hit, its accuracy was abysmal. Its spin rate was not high enough to compensate for the effects of wind and gravity drop, and the rockets dispersed widely on launch. A volley of 24 rockets would cover an area the size of a football field. As a result, by the late 1950s it had been largely abandoned as an aircraft weapon in favor of the guided air to air missiles then becoming available. The Mk-4 found other uses, however, as an air-to-ground weapon, particularly for the new breed of armed helicopter. A volley of FFARs was as devastating as a heavy cannon with far less weight and recoil, and in the ground attack role its marginal long-range accuracy was less important. It was fitted with a more powerful motor to become the Mk-40. The Mk-40 was a universal motor developed from the Mk-4 2.75 FFAR, and could be fitted with different warheads depending on the mission. 
Pods typically carrying 7 or 19 rockets were created for various applications, and a wide variety of specialized warheads were developed for anti-personnel, anti-tank, and target marking use. The FFAR has been developed into the modern Hydra 70 series, which is still in service. Topic. US Mk-40 FFAR launchers The United States was the primary user of this type of weapon and developed a number of different launching pods for it. LAO-3 pods were constructed of aluminum-reinforced cardboard and were intended to be disposed of either on the ground after a mission or by dropping them in flight. With the advent of the armed helicopter, and the increased usage during the Vietnam War, the need for launching pods that were reusable became apparent, so that later models were of all-metal construction. Though the rocket was initially developed by the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Air Force and later U.S. Army were most responsible for the development of rocket pods for all services. These pods are described as follows. Topic. U.S. Air Force launchers Launchers designated under the U.S. Air Force system Topic. U.S. Army launchers Launchers designated under the U.S. Army system Early UH-1B, UH-1C gunships had the XM-3 subsystem using paired 24-round rectangular launchers mounted near the back edge of the sliding side doors. These pods were ground-reloadable and were semi-permanent aircraft parts. The mounting point had been used to mount booms for three SS-11 launchers on each side for anti-tank missions. The copilot had a roof-mounted sight and control box to fire these. Later UH-1C and D aircraft had a mount on each side to carry a seven-round pod coupled with paired M60D machine guns. Some carried M134 miniguns with 3,000 rounds per gun instead, though these aircraft were normally used by air cavalry units, not the aerial rocket artillery era units. Also various ground launchers using discarded aircraft pods were used for fire-based defense. A towed configuration consisting of six 19-round pods called a slammer was tested for airborne infantry support. The range was approximately 7,000 meters using Hydra 70 family rockets. Topic. Warheads for the Mk-40 motor With the development of the MK-40 Mod Zero Universal Motor came the development of a considerable number of different warheads, as well as, a number of different fusing options. A list of those warheads believed to be developed before the replacement of the MK-40 motor with the MK-66 motor is as follows. Topic. Fusing options. Topic. U.S. military warheads Topic See also List of rockets SNEB Hydra 70 FZ-68 and FZ-67 Air-to-ground FFAR rocket motor 70mm, 2.75 CRV-7 Aerial rocket artillery list of U.S. Army rocket launchers by model number LOCAT, used three FFAR rockets Battle of Palmdale